Hey everybody, welcome back. Today, we're going to do something a little different, something that I thought would be pretty neat to show you. And this is the truck EDC. So this is kind of everything that I keep in my truck with me every day. Um, some items will transport between my truck and my wife's vehicle. She has an SUV. Uh, that item, for example, will be this right here. And this little bag is basically prescriptions and like motion sickness, motion nausea stuff, Pepto-Bismol, Advil, Aleve, Tylenol, you know, just the, the travel medicines. And that'll stay right here in the truck. There's a little spot down here, easily accessible. That way, if you need to reach it, it's right there. I kind of believe in keeping everything very simple, um, organized, but yeah, useful. So here on the, the Toyota Tundra, it's a Crew Max, so it's got the full back seat. One thing about the Tundra is it has a very deep center console. So here on the center console, you'll flip it up. And here's this organizer that I purchased on Amazon that kind of keeps everything that we need. Right here it has a little spot for tissue. You know those little packs of tissues? It'll fit that there. It has a spot here for cards. Right for your ID, I guess. Insurances and registration. But I have this Ozark Trail knife which is pretty thick and I keep that clipped on right there the clip goes all the way down Oops. and the knife fits in just like that I keep a pen up here this little organizer comes with two slots for coins I'm gonna fill them up with coins you never know when you're gonna need some change it also comes with this little organizer for coins okay keep that as well I keep some car mix and some chapstick I live in the mountain desert car mix is very good to keep your lips moisturize I keep do two different kinds this one is if your lips are heavily chapped really bad two spots right here on this little organizer for something any kind of lip ointment um maybe switch one of these out keep some neosporin right here that would work as well i travel with the woman i keep a hair clip for her i have a little one keep some wet wipes in here and these wet wipes fit perfectly under the wet wipes I have some alcohol pads these are good even if you don't have a, a little one. Keep a bag of some sort of uh, moist towelettes. You never know when you're going to need to clean yourself off. Keep some electrical tape. I keep that in here. I keep this manicure kit. Let's see if I can get it open with one hand. Here's this little manicure kit. Showing you everything that it has in it. Smaller nails, bigger nails. I keep that in here. A tape measure. It doesn't have to be a big one, but I keep a tape measure. I keep some hand sanitizer. I keep some zip ties in here. Zip ties are kind of like 
this item. Good to keep things from moving around. I keep this little thing. If you have a family that wears eyeglasses, prescription glasses, sunglasses, anything that has tiny screws, you keep this. This top pops off on both sides. Let me put you down for a second. Sorry. There, I popped off the two tops on both sides. I have a Phillips and a flathead. Take this out, flip it around. There's the flathead. If you have a family that wears eyeglasses, very useful item. Okay, let me put this other lid back on and we'll keep moving. Also, it has a little magnet. So if, I don't know if you need to, if you drop a screw, you know, in the corner of somewhere you're working on it. You could also clear out this spot right here and work on your glasses. That way if your screws do fall, they're all right here. Right, and it's not too hard to move two items to clear out a space. Here's a little adapter that I keep in case we need an adapter. All right, let's move along. Little screwdriver. Tactical flashlight and pen. This side's the pen. This side's the little flashlight. You know, if it's dark and I need to look around in here, I have a little flashlight. Also with this flashlight, it has a window breaker. Okay. What else do I keep in here? Another flashlight. And that's all this is, is just a flashlight. Okay. I keep a box cutter. I keep another knife. Another little Ozark trail. Flipper. Two knives is better than one. I keep this little bottle opener. You never know when you're going to need a bottle opener. I also keep another box cutter. And then lastly, but not least, and that's just for this organizer, I have this little, let's see if I can get it out of the case. This little multi-tool. Has a sharp edge, serrated edge, and some other slots so you could use them for being able to open different type of uh, uh, nuts and bolts. Can opener, knife edge, screwdriver, ruler, cap opener, a four position wrench for various size nuts and bolt heads, butterfly wrench, saw blade, and so on. Okay, and I suppose that little hole there is the lanyard, and I keep that with that in there. I also keep a mask for me. In case I'm doing some 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 sort of job, or I need to pull over some somewhere and help somebody, and I want to cover my nose and my mouth, I keep that. And instead of putting tissue paper in here, I think I will put some uh, some rubber gloves in here, and I'll just keep rubber gloves shoved in there. So I keep two knives, two flashlights, two pens, a screwdriver. If you don't notice, I'm keeping kind of two of everything. Two is one and one is none. So 
let's get to the bottom of this and this just comes up you usually put one hand here and one hand in that little hole and you lift this out okay so this top tray is basically if I'm moving my wife's with me stuff that's easily accessible to her down here is going to be kind of stuff that I might have to stop for or something that I'm not going to be reaching for on a regular basis and I keep it in here I keep two well, there's my charger for the phone it goes into the cigarette lighter has two little for you and show you. I keep this little charger. It has two ports, USB and a USB-C port. I keep two rolls of paper towel. This one's kind of running empty. I keep the full roll right below that. I keep a pack of face masks. I do travel with the family. I keep some little snacks in here. And I just got some gummy bears. I will be throwing in probably some beef jerky in here as well. Okay, so with the face masks, the uh, snacks, I keep a little wrench set in here. A little 10 piece mechanic tool set. Just something is better than nothing I also will probably be throwing down here um, an adjustable wrench and probably a pair of channel locks with that being said I'll just keep a little first aid kit this little grease monkey first aid kit uh, was gifted to me but I've been kind of adding stuff as I See fit, mix and match, whatever suits me best, kind of do that. Okay, bandages, some more alcohol, prep pads, some sterilizing Q-tips, the sterilizing Q-tips there, uh, some more tweezers, there's some scissors in here. There's an emergency blanket in here. That's this thing right here. Emergency blanket. A little ice pack. And that'll stay in here. I keep a folder. Anything that I buy for the truck, I keep in this folder. If I buy a set of tires, I keep it in this folder. I just per I just tinted the windows. I keep it in this folder. That way, if there's any questions in the future, or you need to warranty anything, you have your receipts, and you know where it's at. They're just all kept in your folder. You're not gonna be doing too many purchases. where you're gonna fill that folder up or it's gonna get too big. In the glove box, I have a little book right here, and that's a maintenance log book. So every time there's an oil change, tire rotation, anything like that done to the truck, we have the maintenance log. And I changed the oil myself, so that's not something that I'm going to be putting in the folder below here. All this stuff, just in the center console. Okay, let's move along. I keep a spare little windbreaker jacket here, just in case I might be outside in the rain, needing to do something around the vehicle. Okay. Driver's side door. Show you what I keep. 
pair of gloves. These are gloves for me. Some bug spray. Okay. And then down here, I see a little crowbar. Just in case I need to move something that's not moving for me, that's what I keep. And that's just everyday travel in the vehicle. That little molly bag there with our medications and nausea stuff, that'll go back and forth between mine and my wife's vehicle, depending on which vehicle we're taking on the trip. Another thing that I think is part of a good EDC is having some dark windows. That helps keep the sun out of the window. I mean, out of the vehicle. Keeps it from getting too hot in there. This back window, I have 5%. And that's on top of the factory tent. So my children, they will not be able to be seen when we're in the city, driving down the highway, people will not be able to drive by and see what I have in my vehicle. As part of the EDC, I believe. Keeping things discreet. Okay, behind me, this is where the little guy sits. I keep a couple ratchet straps, a couple little toys, that's there. Behind him, I keep some extra diapers. I keep a couple little toys for him. A little back scratcher. And this thing right here, if they fall asleep and their head's kind of wonky, you kind of strap their head into the car seat and it keeps their neck from getting kinked. You never know when you're gonna be on the side of the road and your little guy needs some entertainment. Speaking of entertainment, behind my headrest is this here. We could put our phone in here or we could put his tablet in here and it'll move the passenger or whoever's sitting back here with him. Can put the programming on for him. He'll sit there and he'll be able to watch something on this little thing. When you're not using it, it tucks away nice and neat. All right, let's move around the truck. A tunnel cover. Part of keeping things discreet, a tunnel cover. Here's the brand here. I did a open box purchase. You purchase open box items from Amazon and they discount it for you. This was $70. This is a short bed. It's a crew max truck, so it's got a big back seat. But it's a short bed, five and a half foot. It's trifled. It has gator locks. You unlock the lock on this side and that side and it flips over. Okay the passenger another set of gloves another ratchet strap cup holders behind the passenger I have this thing whoever sitting in this seat here chances are may have to help the little one with food or to help him wipe up so that's why we got this thing more paper towels more wet wipes, bottle holders. So he's got plenty of water bottle space. There's one there, possibly one right there if you want to take out the paper towels. Two there. And once you flip that down, two more there. So just the person that sits here has access to six water bottles, a backpack. I don't have anything in here now, but when we go on trips, I'll fill this with water. Okay, 
I'll show you what else we have in here. He keeps the phone charger cord in here. Another good thing about this behind the seat thing, it flips open to like a little table. Take some finagling to lift it up and pull it down, but there you go. You can see what you're doing here. Say we go and get some food, well, maybe some chicken nuggets or something. Well, now he could put his little thing of chicken nuggets here. He could feed himself and his little brother there without having to keep it in his lap, without spilling it. It'll be right there. There's also two more slots. He could put his cell phone in here. He could put a tablet in here. Now, when you're done using it, you Velcro it behind here. There's another piece of Velcro right there, and that's where it stays. That's at my wife's seating position there. I have, geez, two feet of room between my leg and that thing. So this doesn't get in the way. If you need to make it tighter, um, you can pull this thing tighter. There's that. Okay. Now, to the passenger side. And we'll conclude this video. We're kind of running long. So on her side, what do we keep? Pretty simple. Nothing much. A pair of gloves for her. A trash bag in she needs to throw some trash. You know, the passenger is always the person that's throwing the trash for you. If she wants to store something, she could store it in that little cubby there. There's a little spot right here if she wants to put her cell phone in. I carry a minimal wallet. It fits into here. I put my phone right there when we're driving. Okay, sun shield. If we're pulled over somewhere and I really want to make it so nobody could see in, on top of having the tent, I put those sun shields across the front window. Once you eliminate light from coming in through the front windshield of the vehicle, you cannot see in here. I also keep a portable uh, jumper battery. That way, if my battery dies, I don't have to try to pull somebody over to jump me. I could jump myself. I also will bring along a portable air compressor. It may take a little while to tear up these 20 inch tires, but it'll do the job. It'll get it done. With that being said, that's everything that I keep in the truck. As far as EDC, everything is out of the way, but yet very useful. I also keep this little mirror that I keep up right there. And you can see how I see the car seat. When I'm driving, I'm able to see everybody on, through my mirrors. You need to be able to keep an eye on your passengers. Make sure everybody's doing okay. If you're married, show your partner where everything is at in your vehicle. That way if you become incapacitated, they know how to find everything. They know where everything is at. Let me know if there's anything else you guys think I should everyday carry in the truck if you have any suggestions i'm going to be putting seat covers on because you want to protect your seats but haven't got there yet I just purchased this and a few things i did was the interior first the tinted windows and getting everything on the interior and when we take it on road trips we're good to go let me know what else there is you all think i need and let's have a conversation. I know it's been a while since I've done this for you guys. Or with you guys. But hopefully we could keep this going and become more regular again. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Bye.